then Lieutenant Shannon McKesse started late last year when eight South Fulton police officers made two official complaints. More than half of them said on the record, Lieutenant McKesse created a hostile work environment because she was, quote, terrible. Seven officers complained that McKesse would drink alcohol at work, forced others to do it with her, and claimed people are intimidated by McKesse because of her relationship with the chief and his wife. At least one officer complained that Lieutenant McKesse mishandled money from crime scenes. In a memo to city officials, when the HR director, Nikki Graham, tried to launch an investigation, Graham said Councilwoman Helen Willis tried to fire her. In that same memo, Graham said, it concerns me that Councilwoman Willis would ask to terminate me for doing my job. The city manager, Tammy Sadler-Jones, also sent a memo saying Willis accused the HR director of meddling in police business and that she needs to leave the city and go to another agency. That's when the city manager called for an outside police agency, Smyrna Police, to investigate. Smyrna investigators spoke to more than 20 South Fulton Police Department employees. I asked Police Chief Keith Meadows to sit down with me, but he declined an interview. I also requested an interview with Councilwoman Willis, but she never answered my request. However, Willis did say in a previous Facebook post, there's no merit to these allegations. But the Smyrna police investigation found the complaints from Sergeant Burkhart and Detective King for hostile work environment are substantiated. There were several substantiated violations of City of South Fulton policy, South Fulton Police Department policy, and Labor Act violations. There is a highly probable criminal violation of theft found in this investigation. All people in the polygraph were determined to be truthful, except Lieutenant McKessie. McKessie denied all of these allegations, but according to the report, a week after Smyrna released its findings on July 5th, McKessie resigned on July 11th in lieu of termination. Many officers believe Chief Meadows should have fired her as soon as Smyrna's report came out. The city of South Fulton sent a statement saying that since all of this happened, things have changed when it comes to processing money. Now, the money will be counted on the scene with a money counter. The money will be sent to the state, and then the state will return it to the city. Also, the mayor said he will work with the chief to make sure communication is better so that this will never happen again. In South Fulton County, I'm Taisha Fernandez for WS.